chance to assess just how serious these two teams are in their challenge for the championship. Chelsea second in the table, Arsenal third. It's a long time since this particular London derby saw these two teams so highly placed in the Premiership. Dan Petrescu with the throw, back off the chest of Viali. Bit of a thump up field to try and find his colleague Mark Hughes. The striking pair for Chelsea tonight. Hartson battling shoulder to shoulder with Labouf. And Arsenal get the decision. Here's Bergkamp. Just nicked off his feet by Leboeuf. Bergkamp. Back to Dixon. Here's Bergkamp. Weaving his way into the penalty area. It wasn't a bad cross. No pressure on Kareen. Dennis Bergkamp, just two goals so far in Arsenal's campaign, both coming from the penalty spot. Erlen Jonsson for Chelsea, and successful appeals by the Arsenal back line that Mark Hughes was offside. Mark Hughes, fresh from his exploits with Wales in midweek. John Lukic with an early opportunity in... Arsenal's goal, David Seaman having come back from the England trip with a hamstring injury. Ray Parler. Here's Steve Bold. Chelsea getting at them very quickly. But uh, Keon finding room on the right. That was well picked off by Leboeuf again. He took up a good position. Oh, and he was brought down then by Lee Dixon. That'll certainly be a free kick. And it may be more than a sharp word for Lee Dixon. Referee Keith Burge of Tonopandi reaching very quickly for the yellow card. And he wants to make sure that Dixon has got the message. Well, that's a four point offence for Lee Dixon. we've only had three minutes here's Viali Clark Hughes again just offside he'll have to watch that it's twice in the first few minutes Mark Hughes has strayed beyond the last defender Martin Keown wearing Arsenal's captain's armband and now it's Bergkamp's turn to be offside Leboeuf. For once the pass from the Frenchman wasn't well directed. And here's Ray Parler. That might fall nicely for Viali. He's just inside the challenge of Keown. And the referee Keith Bird saw no offence in the challenge. And meanwhile here come Arsenal. Here's Hartson. Sliced off the outside of the left boot. But Arsenal quick to counter-attack after the saving tattle from Martin Keown, their captain, just outside their own penalty area. Hartson looking to add to the one goal that he scored so far. Erlen Jonsson. Hughes. Here's Andy Myers. Dennis Wise. Di Matteo and here's Petrescu quick feet carried him away from Ray Parler's attentions Myers trying to go around Lee Dixon oh and he's got the better of him very well Myers in with the outside of his foot Dennis Wise this is good pressure from Chelsea Inside the first five minutes. 
Burley, Hughes. Sends Dwyer's coming in support. It's a penalty. He had a good long look at it, Keith Birch. Wise went down. Steve Bold with the challenge. Arsenal hearts were in their mouths. It's a foot or two inside the penalty area. Bold was quickly back on his feet. But he turned to see Keith Birch pointing at the penalty spot. And what a great early chance this is for Chelsea. The ball placed on the spot by Frank Leboeuf. in goal for Arsenal with David Seaman injured after the England trip is beaten in the first five minutes Chelsea who have yet to concede a goal in three Premiership outings already a goal to the good in the London derby it's Frank Leboeuf's second goal for Chelsea scored the first of their two goals against Coventry in the last match and now Chelsea's League of Nations one up and here's Wise, they're just storming at them it had to stick because Mark Hughes was coming in and Dennis Wise in a way epitomising everything about Chelsea they're just so on their toes and so full of running Erlen Jonsson covers and that will be goal kick Steve Morrow another of uh, several players on the field tonight who were away on international duty in midweek Keown in very sharply, Bergkamp trying to direct it to Hartson. That's a, an Arsenal ball, uh, referee seems to change his mind. Erlen Jonsson. Parler out to Lee Dixon an early blow for Arsenal from which they will have to recover but Chelsea have set about this match in a very determined fashion and Martin Keown a little bit too determined in his challenge that's a free kick Winterburn knocks it forward and here's Bergkamp oh he did very well to keep it in play Bergkamp but Chelsea have covered and here's the penalty scorer Linigan who went in quickly Keown knocks it up well, it's a very sharp and pacey start to the match Hughes has claimed it and then he was tripped was he by Keown to free kick Arsenal are under pressure there's no doubt about it Chelsea with a really vibrant start hmm. not the return to Highbury that John Lukic would have wished on a free transfer from Leeds Petrescu well there's a little shout from uh, Di Matteo Leboeuf Steve Clark Viali and uh, a push penalised the free kick quickly taken but the tackle came in just as sharply and one or two tackles are flying in at the moment that's another free kick there's a 
a little bit of an undercurrent in this match. Well, you'd always expect a keen edge of rivalry between sides that are neighbours in London. Here's Craig Burley. Hughes. It's bold who won it, but it comes out to Di Matteo. Viali. Here's Burley just offside. Well, you get the feeling there are going to be one or two offside decisions in favour of Arsenal's defence, but there may also be one or two that uh, Chelsea get the better of. And they just managed to get a man free. Well won by Erlen Jonsson. Knocked forward by Steve Bold. And at this time it's Erlen Jonsson who's penalised. Two wins and one defeat so far for Arsenal as the free kick is taken. Paul Merson out to Nigel Winterburn. Here's Steve Morrow. Merson has an offside flag up anyway before Karine claimed it. Steve Clark. Here's Andy Myers. Now Bergkamp, but he's just got Hearts in ahead of him. That's well done, but the flag's up. It won't count. It didn't matter anyway because he didn't succeed in putting it in the net. John Hartson, Merson, who spotted him, but the offside flag was up straight away. Keown with the throw we've had just over 10 minutes and Arsenal are a goal down at home foot up free kick Hartson's offside well the crowd don't like it but the uh, referee's assistant as the linesmen are now called is there to do that job is Erlen Jonsson Linigan gets the better of Viali Hartson's cushion header intended for Merson stolen by Wise who spots Andy Myers making a break down the left faced by Dixon it wasn't a bad shot was it Craig Burley Chelsea keep the pressure on and look to add to the one goal that they've already scored Lukic covering the post both these teams under new management this season Chelsea now under the care and control of Ruud Hullet Arsenal with the caretaker boss Stuart Houston soon to be replaced when Arsene Wenger arrives well it was well won by Bergkamp he didn't seem to look at the ball before he jumped but he won it it's awkward Wise Andy Myers again Chelsea keep the pressure on Here's Burley. This is Steve Clark. Viali made the diagonal run towards the near post. Clark spotted him. That was the link up which produced Viali's goal in the 2 0 victory over Coventry. 
Steve Clark to Viali. Well down by Hartson. That's neat by Chelsea again. Viali. Viali. There's a player on the overlap on this right side. It's Petrescu. Out off the head of Steve Bold. Wise fancies his chance. And Lukic just able to smother it. But it's a really bright, impressive start by the team whose start to the season has only been bettered by Sheffield Wednesday. Hughes, Wise, Burley, Petrescu, here's Erlen Jonsson. It's really crisp and impressive football that Chelsea are playing. Petrescu tries to time the pass to Mark Hughes to avoid offside, but doesn't succeed. Andy Linigan with the kick. Here's Steve Morrow. Martin Keown. intended for Bergkamp but he's got Steve Clark wrapped all over him and Arsenal get the free kick so an opportunity perhaps for Arsenal to put some pressure on the Chelsea goal with the big men from the back all coming forward Linigan's in there Keown's in there Steve Bowl trying to find some room for himself. Bergkamp takes it. Here's Keon. Winterburn is the back man. Dixon. Erlen Jonsson's header out and Dennis Wise. And Chelsea start another one of those swift counter attacks. Here's Di Matteo. Oh, he got the better of Linigan so easily. Di Matteo. Well, he's finally gone behind for a goal kick. But this could be a, a long and difficult night for Arsenal. The Italian Roberto Di Matteo just nonchalantly almost nicked it through the legs of the defender. Linigan untangled his feet and finds Paul Merson. Arsenal's crowd trying to lift their team. Here's Bergkamp. Morrow. Can't find a way through at the moment. Here's Morrow. Winterburn. Bergkamp. was the intended recipient but Labouf covered him very well French international who was in the Euro 96 squad but didn't make an appearance Trolling up front with Mark Hughes. <laughs> Linigan. Bergkamp. Erlen Jonsson covered. Kareen has to use his feet. Arsenal with a throw. Here's Bergkamp. There were three Chelsea players to mark him. Appeal for a free kick, which he didn't get. Andy Myers. 
Dennis Wise. Again, Chelsea showing that crispness. Petrescu. Here's Di Matteo. Arsenal able to smuggle it, and that's a good ball to John Hartson. The threat would have been greater if he'd carried it in his stride, he didn't. Here's Parler. He went down under the challenge of Andy Myers. No penalty. Arsenal's best break for the referee. Happy that the defender didn't commit a foul. Well, the Highbury crowd didn't see it quite the way the referee did. And the boos are now ringing out around Highbury. Hughes. Into Petrescu. It's out of Di Matteo. Well, Winterburn finally gets it to Hartson, who gets it out to Paul Merson. Keown. Bergkamp on the chase. That's kept in play by Dixon. Here's Ray Parler. That's a corner. Martin Keown up from the back as Arsenal take this corner. Hooked out finally by Craig Burley. Arsenal now enjoying a, a spell of sustained pressure. Ray Parler. It's a bit short. But here's Bergkamp. From a deep position. Now loses possession. Well, there were some really accusing looks at Craig Burley because he's surrendered possession by a misdirected pass. Rude Hullet obviously drilling it into them on the training ground that you don't give the ball away lightly. Here's Nigel Winterburn. It was easily dealt with. Petrescu to Viali. Didn't succeed in finding Mark Hughes. Another offside. The respective positions at the top of the Premiership, second and third, has certainly given a, an extra edge to this encounter. Here's Erlen Jonsson for Chelsea, aimed at Mark Hughes, this is Andy Linigan. but he's got away with it, and here's Morrow, Petrescu, oh that's a great ball by Labouf, Craig Burley to Petrescu, this is the Christmas and the sharpness about Chelsea was such a joy to watch. Sviali having his shirt tucked. Strong enough to keep the ball and keep his feet. Petrescu, they're into the penalty area. Trying to tee up Myers. Arsenal looking to hit them quickly on the break. That's Lee Dixon well forward. A Chelsea throw. Ball was already out before the defender touched it.
Dennis Bergkamp back inside his own half, losing out to Viali, who went down under a, a strong challenge from Ray Parler. Free kick. I'm sorry, it was Andy Myers, isn't it? <laughs> Dennis Wise just touches the free kick to Labouf. Oh, hit the referee. John Hartson. Arsenal still trying to get something going. Steve Morrow. Paul Merson. Here's Bergkamp, no offside. Has he waited too long? It flashed across the face of Chelsea's goal, and from Arsenal's point of view, nothing accrued from their most promising moment in the first half. Just lifted over the defence, there were questioning looks at the, uh, well, the referee's assistant, as he's, as he's now called, but there was no flag. And there wasn't a goal either for Bergkamp. Just two from the penalty spot so far for Arsenal. to find Paul Merson here's Myers Mark Hughes Di Matteo this is Erlen Jonsson Inside the last 20 minutes of the first half, Arsenal still trailing to that penalty goal, scored in five minutes. Here's Ray Parler, blocked by Craig Burley, free kick now, this is interesting. Parler back on his feet. The free kick perhaps six yards outside the penalty area in a fairly central position Paul Merson and Dennis Bergkamp in conversation as Chelsea set their defensive wall from the position that Dennis Bergkamp has taken up it looks as though he will strike this indeed he does Annoyed with himself, and he got underneath it. Always looked to be rising too quickly. Hughes to Matteo beaten in the tackle by Keown obstruction free kick Merson blocked as we move towards the last 15 minutes of this first half Arsenal with a free kick which Nigel Winterburn has placed with great care Chelsea with everybody back to defend and that's aimed at uh, Merson out by Mark Hughes here's Viali this is Parler Viali, Viali took it off him Labouf oh well done Craig Burley Winterburn rather dived in here's Viali force wide oh, oh it's in 
Lukic has made a hash of it. Viali squeezed it in between keeper and post. But surely, surely John Lukic in today because David Seaman has got a hamstring injury. Surely he should have had it. It hit the arms of the keeper. He didn't keep hold of it. He didn't force it behind for the corner. Somehow it squeezed its way past him. And Chelsea are ahead by two goals to nil. And we haven't yet reached half time. Viali gets his second goal in the Premiership. Hughes. Keon takes it off him, but. Well, the whistle is gone because Chelsea have got a player down who needs treatment. And it's the goal scorer, Gianluca Viali. If the director's listening to me, because we won't show these bits anyway, can we have a close-up of John Lukic, please? Have you got an isolated shot of John Lukic, please? That's the Arsenal goalkeeper. Here's Merson. Kareen looks untroubled. For once, Chelsea defenders allowing an Arsenal player just a little bit too much room. Hughes goes on the outside of Andy Linigan. Here's Dennis Wise. Petrescu. Di Matteo. Here's Craig Burley. Succeeded in keeping in play. Di Matteo. Petrescu. It should be Lukic's, but nothing certain. <laughs> Winterburn takes it off Petrescu. Here's Burke and um, Hartson, rather. This is Merson. Dixon. Arsenal desperate to get on the score sheet as we move into the last ten minutes of the first half, but that's go kick. Hughes scrapping with Keown, Myers, oh and Hughes has gone down now, here's Andy Myers, that'll be a free kick to Arsenal. Just having a quiet word between Martin Keon and Mark Hughes. There was a little clash between them a moment or two ago when the ball wasn't around, which ended with Hughes on the floor, but I think it was accidental. 
Certainly there was a nod and a sort of a semi-handshake between them. Ray Parler. Here's Nigel Winterburn. Time running out in this first half for Arsenal inside the last ten minutes. Carl is strong enough to win it, but it's Chelsea who come out with it in the form of Steve Clark. And again, it's one of these quick sweeping breaks by the team in blue. Clark as well. He's got Petrescu on the overlap. He's got three to look for if he's got a good cross. That same for Mark Hughes, who won it. Here's Miali. Blocked by Lee Dixon. But you have to be impressed with the way Chelsea are playing. Hughes won the header. Lukic smothered it at the near post. And when Bialy tried to knock it back in, Dixon blocked. But they've still got to defend from the corner. <laughs> Dennis Wise has given a signal. That's tight. Oh. And Lukic will be glad that it stuck to his gloves as well as it did. It's an Arsenal throw, which Bergkamp wants to take quickly, but there was a lack of support. Winterburn. Merson takes it off Parler, that's out to Lee Dixon. Viali covers him. Keown goes on the overlap down the right. And that's poorly directed. And again, Arsenal have failed to seriously threaten Chelsea's goal. And we're nearly at half-time. And they're trailing by two goals to nil. Burley, Petrescu. Andy Linigan's defensive header. I'm sure whether Winterburn wanted it. Erlen Jonsson keeping it alive. Oh, there was a little nudge in the back of Mark Hughes and the kidneys from Andy Linigan. It's the uh, sort of attention that he's used to receiving from defenders. Just winded him for a moment. Dennis Wise takes the free kick. Here's Viali. He's got Petresco in support. All the Chelsea players are just eager for possession. Here's Di Matteo. Keon just hacks it out. Steve Bold. Here's Steve Morrow. Oh, he's dispossessed by Di Matteo, but the whistle saves Arsenal any further embarrassment. Free kick. Keown. Out by Steve Clark. Linigan. Well, Morrow didn't want it because Wise was marking him very tightly. Here's Hughes. Wise, Petrescu. Eager as ever to get down that right flank. Explaining to Petrescu where he did want it. Meanwhile, here's Paul Merson. And that's yards offside by Hartson. Well, from a wide position like that, Hartson able to see right across the Chelsea back line. 
really no excuse for being offside. Hughes. Petrescu. Dennis Wise, one of the only two English players in this Chelsea side tonight. Here's Bialy. Oh, it was a nice touch. You can see what he intended. He tried to steer it into space. And here's Di Matteo. And the whistle will have to go. It's a free kick, Arsenal. And here's Martin Keown. Third count. Having to scrap for every ounce of possession, Arsenal. Referee waving play on, Winterburn. We're inside the last five minutes of the first half. Keon didn't want it. Merson. Well, Chelsea just having a word with Burley there because he didn't need to knock it upfield quite so quickly. Martin Keown. And Kari knocked it down because he knew that his next step would carry him outside the penalty area. And Larson have just surrendered possession again. Here's Bialy. That's aimed at Hughes. De Matteo. And there was an offside flag anyway against Hughes, but. Referee has waved play on with Arsenal in possession. Karin patrolling the uh, full distance of his penalty area. Arsenal have already suffered one 2-0 defeat this season up at Anfield. Steve McManaman, scorer of both of those goals, but 2-0 down at home here at Highbury against London neighbours Chelsea is a bit harder to swallow. Here's Merson as we move into the last two minutes of the first half. Craig Burley's tackle gives Arsenal a throw, but they need a lot more than that. They need at the moment a little bit of inspiration. Lee Dixon with the throw. Dixon's throw. Backheaded by Bold. Oh, Linigan lost it. Look how quickly Petrescu was onto it. Here's Viali. Here's Petrescu, who's continued his forward run. He's got Mark Hughes in front of him. Well, he was trying to tee it up for somebody, but nobody had quite got into that position. But again, Chelsea looking to hit Arsenal with a very quick break. Hughes. Offside flag was against Viali, so Arsenal will get possession. And we're inside the last minute of the first half. Mark Hughes, Dennis Wise, Craig Burley. Here's Dan Petrescu. Di Matteo can switch the point of attack to the left side. Steve Clark. No free kick. Referee suggests that Chelsea are in possession. Oh, it's a good back heel. 
Myers, but there's nobody in the penalty area for him yet. Viali. Petrescu arrives on the back post. Here he is. Arsenal survive as we move into added on time at the end of the first half. And Bergkamp comes forward for them. Out by Steve Clark. Here's De Matteo. Viali's checked his run because he would have been offside. Oh, and he is just offside this time. Leboeuf threading it through. The Italian straying beyond the last defender. Nigel Winterburn. Here's De Matteo for Chelsea. Viali again not quite timing the run. Maybe if the pass had been released a second or so earlier, he would have avoided offside. Parsons flick on. Teed up nicely for Merson to shoot. That goal for Arsenal coming just when they needed it. Paul Merson's first of the season. In added on time at the end of the first half. A lovely little flick on by Bergkamp to keep the ball flowing across the penalty area. And... Merson shoots unerringly into the bottom corner of the net. Arsenal 1, Chelsea 2 as we move towards half-time. Here's Steve Morrow. Here's John Hartson. Keon lets it run, but in actual fact it will be a... Well, it's the final whistle to end the first half. Viali with the second Chelsea goal. After Leboeuf, one of the other summer arrivals at Stamford Bridge, had scored from the penalty spot. But Arsenal saving their blushes with Merson's goal coming right at the end of the first half. Arsenal 1, Chelsea 2. Well, Arsenal start the second half in a happier frame of mind than it might have been. It could have been 3-0 down against vibrant Chelsea. First challenge and a point to a goal kick. As it was, Paul Merson's goal has given them something to uh, cling on to. Here's Dennis Wise. Mark Hughes is just out of play. Martin Keown looking for a colleague in space. Steve Clark now in the central defensive position, having previously been a fullback with Chelsea. Free kick against Keown. Push on Hughes. Leboeuf.
Dixon just wants to get this upfield. Dennis Wise. Di Matteo out to Steve Clark. Oh, that's a good run by Mark Hughes. He got away from Keown, peeled off. Too high for Viali. But here's Craig Burley, and Petrescu waits. Dennis Wise. Viali. Chelsea have kept it. Petrescu. Hughes with a little back heel, Petrescu. It's, it's a corner. And Lukic, having committed a howler in the first half, a saviour at the start of the second. Chelsea threatening to re establish their two goal lead. Dan Petrescu, well found by Mark Hughes' back heel, but here now comes the corner. Burley, that's off a defender, corner number two. Good early pressure from Chelsea at the start of the second half. Dennis Wise has placed the ball for the corner. Short to Craig Burley. Here's Burley. Hughes with the header. Viali! Well, it was well wide of the target in the end but it was another threatening moment. Merson to Winterburn, who had it taken off his toe. That's Steve Bold. Mark Hughes. Covered by Linnigan. Arsenal only suffered two home defeats in the Premiership last season in consecutive games around Christmas time. Here's Dennis Wise for Chelsea. Di Matteo. He only needed a marginal redirection from Mark Hughes. The Italian Di Matteo has scored once in the Premiership. A goal which beat Middlesbrough 1-0. John Hartson heads it on. Bergkamp. Oh, he was tripped by Labou. That will be a free kick, and it may be a caution for the Frenchman. Yellow card for the scorer of the Chelsea penalty goal. Very late with the tattle on Bergkamp. Steve Bold up from the back. As is Keown, as is Linnigan, so there's plenty of height in the penalty area for Bergkamp to search out. John Hartson, who finally had the shot that was blocked. Arsenal quickly take the throw. Here's David Platt on the second half as a substitute. Offside. crowd are getting at the referee's assistant on that far side because he was a little bit late to put the flag up certainly Mercer not in agreement with the decision <laughs> off the head of Steve Bold Petrescu backpedalling 
kept in play. Out by Leboeuf. Winterburn. Inside the play. Arsenal throw. Hartson's foot wasn't really that high, in fairness, but the free kick was given anyway. Myers had his head down low. Here's Dixon. Here's Merson. Here's Parler. Here's Bergkamp. What a miss. Arsenal looked to have done everything that they needed to do to unlock Chelsea's defence. The uh, Dutchman with one that he'll want to forget. From the edge of the six yard box. Knocked on by Andy Myers. Here's Andy Linigan for Arsenal. Keown, well, the whistle. They've gone for an offside, I think, or maybe it was a handball. Lee Dixon, into John Hartson, who hasn't got a lot of support. Dixon's throw, here's Ray Parler. David Platt. That's a good ball, Burkamp put up his hand. Well... It looked to me as though Bergkamp put his hand up deliberately to pull that down as Ray Parler crossed. Maybe rather fortunate that he's not been shown a yellow card. Platt, Hartson, here's Parler, Arsenal are lifted by how close they've come to a, an equaliser, Chelsea under pressure, concede the corner, Erlen Jonsson, maybe Arsenal beginning to sense there's a way back into this match for them, Merson has placed the ball for the corner, once again the big three from the back have all come forward, that was Steve Clark's header out. And his clearance again, Steve Clark. Out by Leboeuf. There's Craig Burley. Now David Platt, he's only played 45 minutes in a testimonial game so far this season. Dixon. Ray Parler. Offside by Yards. Despite the protestations of the Highbury faithful. Di Matteo into Dennis Wise. Erlen Jonsson, Le Bouf, Di Matteo finding himself room, back from Viali. Dennis Wise, well no Chelsea supporter under 25 years of age has ever seen them win a major trophy. It's been that long, even longer since they won the title, 41 years, here's Le Bouf. Well that was rather some of the tackles on the Frenchman looked as if they were more intended to take the man than the ball, but there's no free kick given.
free kick Chelsea Rude Hullett the player manager of Chelsea unable to play at the moment through injury but may struggle to get into the side his team ahead by two goals to one Oh, it's a very late flag again. This is Ray Parler. And hit the back of Andy Myers. Dixon's dismayed to see a free kick given against him. Andy Myers. Mark Hughes. Referees in his way. Petrescu. Steve Clark. Chelsea do find themselves very neatly with this passing sequences here's Di Matteo Mark Hughes was holding back to avoid offside Erlen Jonsson's header Linigan oh it was not enough pace on it for it to reach the fullback here's Mark Hughes Viali Petrescu Craig Burley One look at the trophy cabinets suggests quite a gulf between these sides. But here's Andy Myers trying to sneak around the blind side. And Lee Dixon. LeBeuf took responsibility, but the flag was up for offside anyway. thoughtful Stuart Houston the caretaker manager with his hand to his mouth knows that the job won't be his Dennis Wise Petrescu oh it's a good ball to find Viali he pulled it down with his hand the linesman spotted it Well, the crowd are suggesting by their noise level that they think Bialy ought to have been... Well, I don't know what's going on now, but the linesman is still flagging. Plays down the far end of the field, but the linesman on this near side, or the referee's assistant, has still got the flag raised. And Mr Keith Burge will have to come a long way over to see what his assistant on this near side has spotted. animated discussion as the linesman or referee's assistant it's difficult to remember quite what they're called these days but it's Mark Hughes who's being called across to be shown a yellow card an incident off the ball missed by the referee spotted by the linesman Mark Hughes, the second Chelsea player cautioned in the match after Leboeuf. Further delay with the... Uh, it looks like Leboeuf now requiring treatment.
Chelsea lose the services of their impressive number five, Frank Leboeuf. Michael Dubry, an unused substitute so far this season, gets his first appearance as a replacement for Leboeuf and straight into the action Winterburn gets it back from Bergkamp Merson gave it away to Dennis Wise who was dispossessed and then tripped great pile up that'll be another yellow card So Chelsea now with three players caution. Paul Merson will take the free kick. Came off the alley, so that will be a corner. Martin Keown well forward once again as Arsenal prepare to take this corner. This time it's short. Merson. Keown! It's 2 2. And didn't Arsenal work the corner very cleverly? Merson short to Platt. Then whipped into the back post where the captain Martin Keown was waiting well directed Hartson was there to help it over the line but I think it was in any way certainly Keown thinks it was it's 2-2 Winterburn explaining that he's uh, not been cropped, he doesn't want to leave the field. Winterburn's throw. Bergkamp. Dubry who took it off him. Merson into John Hartson. There's Dixon waiting for it to drop. Ray Parler. Hartson, Bergkamp, Bergkamp, he should have teed it up surely for Merson. Keown, Dixon, Parler, linesman saw handball and suddenly Chelsea are on the back foot. free kick Myers trying to find somebody up front and they can't relieve the pressure at the moment Merson good play by Merson to Bergkamp hit his heels Erlen Johnson and it's going to come straight back at them Bergkamp is penalised for tugging down Erlen Jonsson.
Steve Clark. Highbury happy at the moment with Arsenal's fight back, having been 2 0 down and rather fortunate that it wasn't three. Di Matteo. That's Ray Parler working hard. Myers finds Mark Hughes. Di Matteo. Steve Clark. Di Matteo back from Viali this is Michael Dewberry Craig Burley Clark Chelsea do show composure but that was badly directed Merson Bergkamp Arsenal with a real appetite for it now Bergkamp bursting through the middle the free kick is given. It's right on the edge of the penalty area. Steve Clark has his say. But Arsenal have responded very well to the situation which was dire at 2-0 down. A goal back right on the stroke of half-time, now 2-2. And just listen to the crowd here at Highbury. Bergkamp's had a look, Winterburn's had a look, Merson's had a look. And it may well be... Well, it's Bergkamp. Oh, so close! In fact, Arsenal are suggesting that Karin touched it. But they don't get the corner. either Karin or maybe somebody in the defensive wall but it's a goal kick yes there was a push on Bialy by Linigan free kick Craig Burley into Mark Hughes handball spotted for Chelsea Hughes here's Di Matteo who's got Craig Burley on this left side Keown quickly back on his feet player of the year last season Martin Keown enjoying a, a new popularity at Highbury Dennis Wise losing out. Here's Di Matteo though. Arsenal scrapping for everything. Dixon. Chelsea still trying to play their neat constructive game. Viali. Di Matteo. Dennis Wise. Petrescu. Di Matteo. Keon just getting it far enough, which was into the arms of Lukic and 
Andy Myers. Viali. And falls to Merson. Winterburn on his outside. Dispossessed by De Matteo. Here's Dennis Wise. Hughes. Holds it up very well again. Craig Burley. Now Andy Myers. Mark Hughes. Di Matteo. Petrescu. This is Dennis Wise. Chelsea still probing for an opening. Viali was tackled from behind by Bold. That'll be a free kick. Well, that was Steve Bowles last act of this match. Bold replaced by Ian Wright to popular acclaim. And there are 16 minutes left. A final instruction from the caretaker manager. So Arsenal have sacrificed a defender for an attacker. Ian Wright came on as a substitute and scored against Leicester. Something similar tonight would bring the house down at Highbury. But first, Arsenal have to defend from this free kick. Dennis Wise to take it. Too high for Dewberry, but Viali can keep it in play. Well, he went down under a very strong challenge from Lee Dixon, who then has a word with the Italian. Free kick has been given. Lukic screaming at his defenders and it was missed by everyone goal kick a little knock at Erlen Jonsson then the referee was close enough to have seen it I'm sure he's going to have to speak to the Arsenal player gave him a little clip across the top of the head neither of them seemed desperately keen to patch it up it may sparkle into life again in what remains of this match Winterburn's header. Dubery puts it out of play, and Ian Wright hurries to take the throw. Leaves it ultimately for Winterburn. David Platt. Merson. Yards offside. Hartson. guilty a few times John Hartson of not really looking where the defenders are he's so intent on getting forward and Steve Clark it's Keon's touch and that's a Chelsea throw which Andy Myers will take. Erlen Jonsson. Chelsea still looking for a winner. As are Arsenal. Di Matteo. Petrescu. Somehow it's going to find Myers. Lee Dixon with good pace. That maybe not have been so well directed but Bergkamp's header was players finding very little room uh, 
pass intended for Hartsenau wide. Out instead for a Chelsea throw. Craig Burley. Which is Petrescu. Safely fielded by Lukic. Ian Wright now on, stealing behind the last defender, Wright! Yes! Wright on the floor in need of treatment, but Arsenal are ahead 3-2, just on as a substitute. And the man who's been the top scorer for Arsenal every season since he arrived in 1991 from Crystal Palace has delivered again, despite the knock that he got in receiving it. Look how he got the better of the defender and brave enough to score the goal when Kari was bearing down on him. He's waited impatiently on the substitutes bench. But when he was asked to come on and deliver, Ian Wright has done so. The second time that he scored for Arsenal this season, having come on as a substitute and having been 2-0 down, Arsenal now lead 3-2. What a turnaround. And this time Wright's offside. Well, he got one in the eye for his trouble, but he doesn't mind. It's the 146th goal of his Arsenal career. Here's Dubery. And Hughes offside. Well, you wonder how they can keep Ian Wright on the substitutes bench. That was badly directed by him. Here's Di Matteo. That's to Viali. Craig Burley with the shot. They appeal unsuccessfully to Chelsea for a corner. down to Lee Dixon it's back from Erlen Jonsson Keown over the head by Wise and up in the air by Platt and Chelsea throw well David Platt on at the start of the second half to help Arsenal's recovery Here's Clark. He didn't really look straight to Platt. And here comes Wright. No whistle. Despite players going down. And finally there is. There was an earlier knock on Wright in the penalty area, which the referee ignored. The second one, just outside the penalty area, is given as a free kick. Looks like Andy Myers' protest is going to get him in a yellow card. Just over seven minutes left. Arsenal with this free kick just outside the area. Parler in the defensive wall, Merson to knock it up to the back post, out by Dubery, and then Petrescu, here's David Platt. And Craig 
Burley is off as we move towards the last seven minutes to be replaced by John Spencer. His first appearance of the season after injury and Spencer knows that he'll have to battle for his place at Stamford Bridge this season. Chelsea's throw and here's Erlen Johnson Steve Clark Dennis Wise lost his bearings and lost possession Burkham didn't find Ian Wright Bialy looks for Mark Hughes Keown was the covering player here's Ray Parler he knew that Dixon would be there Hartson Parler was obstructed free kick Wires will have to be careful he is one of three or four now it is Chelsea players who've been shown a yellow card just over five minutes left as uh, Lee Dixon prepares to take this free kick Myers with the header finds John Spencer back from Dennis Wise Chelsea now looking to get an equaliser themselves otherwise there's nothing for them in this match having led at one stage 2-0 Petrescu Viali Good strike by Di Matteo just outside the area. His goal that beat Middlesbrough 1 0. One of Chelsea's two victories this season. The other a 2 0 defeat of Coventry. Ian Wright trying to find Hartson. Michael Dewberry. Inside the last five minutes. Spencer. Di Matteo. He's got Myers on his outside. Hughes. Spencer. Out by uh, Winterburn, but here's Myers. And then Dixon, it's a Chelsea throw. In fact, referee has overruled his linesman, I think. Yes, he's given a free kick to Arsenal. has uh, started all four matches for Arsenal this season Stuart Houston giving him his chance and now looks for the flick on to find Ian Wright here's Ian Wright this is Myers Wise aimed at Michael Dewberry who did very well to keep it in the first time but in fact decided that it was out uh, thought that Tilbury had kept it in it's a Chelsea throw once again the referee overrules his linesman we'll be getting a complex the uh, referee's assistant on this side
Davis. Just two minutes left. Viali, back heel. Dixon was wise to it. Well, then lost his studs. Corner. There's a minute and a half left on the clock. Erlen Jonsson has come forward as Chelsea prepare. Well, it's actually a free kick. Wise takes it. In by Hughes. At the wrong side. And goal kick. We're inside the final minute and Arsenal's dramatic fight back looks at the moment as though it will secure the points. But here's Petrescu, here's Mark Hughes. Chelsea haven't given up yet. That was a free kick against John Spencer. And he has a very sharp word with the referee of disagreement. the head of Mercy, Erlen Jonsson for Chelsea, here's Dennis Wise, time running out now for Chelsea, the crowd trying to draw the referee's attention to the fact that the clock here at Highbury shows the game is over, how far Karin has come out of his area, This is time added on for stoppages. And both the referee's assistants are flagging at the moment. <laughs> Keith Burge across to talk to the assistant on the far side and he's waving towards Ian Wright well it's a yellow card for Ian Wright an incident spotted by the referee's assistant Well, he's such a spirited individual, Ian Wright, you just, you just can't contain him. Keown's header, only as far as Spencer. I hit the back of Spencer. Bergkamp. Knocked up by Dimiteu. To Petrescu, who keeps it in play. Ian Wright's there to haunt them. Here's Clark. Bergkamp has stolen it. Well, they would have been offside anyway. We're deep into added on time. Dixon just hoiks it upfield, but he's found Ian Wright. Here's Bergkamp coming from deep to right. Chelsea still in with a chance of salvaging something. Here's Andy Myers. Spencer. Here's Wise. Dennis Wise. Yes! 
What a super strike by Dennis Wise. It's 3-3. One of the most memorable London derbies between Arsenal and Chelsea for years. The teams sitting second and third in the Premiership have carved out a marvellous match at Highbury. Chelsea ahead 2-0. Arsenal fight back to lead 3-2, and deep in added on time, Dennis Wise gets the equaliser. It was a lovely bit of control by the England player, and a super positive dynamic finish. It's 3-3, and surely it's all over now. Dennis Wise with his first goal of the season. Maybe Ian Wright has still got something to say in the match. No. The Dennis Wise goal is the final significant act of a super match. Chelsea ahead with a penalty by Leboeuf after five minutes. Viali squeezing in their second on half an hour. But Arsenal began the fight back with Paul Merson's goal in added on time at the end of the first half. Martin Keown, the Arsenal captain, made it 2-2. Ian Wright on as a substitute to make it 3-2 Arsenal. And then, with virtually the last attack of the match, Dennis Wise making it 3-3. And how nice to see that the players can enjoy the celebration as much as that after a, a match at times a little bit over-spirited. Chelsea with four booked, Arsenal with three, but the points are shared.